What would Hobby Philic look like if I did more very affordable poker chip reviews? I can only think of one way to find out. At first glance, these look okay. I mean, the edges look crisp and clean. Those edge spots look really crisp and clean, especially compared to some other brands of metal insert plastic poker chips. They have denominations printed on some label. And at least they're ugly. Because look at this lovely Greek laurel right here. That's there because the Greek super high roller? Because uh, Zeus famously played poker. What were they thinking? The only reasonable thoughts move more in the direction of they didn't have a design, they didn't have a designer, so they found a free image on the internet and slapped it on there. I don't know this coat of arms. If I looked hard enough, I could probably find it. It's probably like the Harvard Marijuana Growers Club or something. So it's a little bit ugly, but we can forgive that if the quality control is really good and it's very affordable. Affordable it is, but let's look at the quality control. People say that any well-manufactured chip can easily stack 100 high. So let's start with 20. Now, I'm no structural engineer, but I'm going to say that fails the slump test. People online say these are better than dice chips. My problem with that is there are a lot of things that are better than dice chips. Being slowly eaten alive by fire ants, that's better than owning dice chips. Hepatospleno renomegaly is better than owning a set of dice chips, and everything will end sooner. There are some chips you want to last the rest of your life, and then there are chips, not to point any fingers, where you hope that someday they will be stolen just so you can get some chips you like. They really are like high-level nuclear waste. Yes, they both will last and last more than a thousand years, but you really don't want either in your living room. I imagine even dice chips could be made to be better. And that brings us to this. Here we have the very real NASA. See the blue check mark? So this has to be legit literature. I mean, it, there's a blue check mark. So we're just going to buy this at face value. And here we go. Here we go. World class pamphlet here, ladies and gentlemen. Taxpayer dollars, I'm sure, went to this. All right, let's see. This is how to improve. Pamphlet on how to make dice chips better than Casino del Sol metal slug chips. All right, there we go. So let's see here. Step one, take cap off permanent marker. Okay, we have our permanent marker right here. We have some dice chips right here. Let's improve these, all right. It says write denominations on dice chips. Okay, here we go. This is one, five, 25, and 100. Oh, you can barely even see it. You can barely even see this. Oh my gosh, NASA is just going down the tubes. What's going on, NASA? I thought you were smart. How could use a permanent write denomination? It didn't even work. Uh oh, Houston, we have a problem. Who wrote this garbage? If JFK were alive today, I would so troll him on Twitter. What do we do now? I don't know. So uh, we'll just throw that away and. Uh, Huh. I guess the only conclusion we can come to is that the Casino del Sol chips are actually slightly better than the dice chips. Stupid dice chips. Not even the very real NASA can fix them. Like I was saying, um, these are slightly better than dice chips. So uh, they're available now somewhere on Amazon. Get them now before they, you know, sell. But in all seriousness, if you want Metal Slug chips, please get the Las Vegas Casino chips. Please, they're just better as far as quality control, and I think they just look prettier. Thank you so much for watching. My name is John Hobby.